Okay guys, welcome back to another episode. Look what we got here. This thing's actually been repowder coated. It's been laying around. So the owner, mm -hmm. the woman that owns this, that, you heard me right. The lady that owns this, she's like, you know what, when I was young, my brother had one of these and I used to ride it all the time. Mom and dad didn't think that it was something that a, a girl should be riding. So I secretly take my brother's bike out and we ride it. So now I'm older, parents can't say nothing, so I'm gonna go build one up. So there she has it. So it is, it is, is it, it is a, a repaint. And it is kind of like a throwback. You guys guess it, Eddie Fiola. Shout out to the man. This is 85, guys, 85. And we got, of course, the trusted Tauga Bear Trap, but this one's in black. Again, is it, am I building for myself? Am I building for you guys? No, we're not. Okay, we're building it for her, and therefore she wants black. Okay? <laughs> this this is not the layback seat post. We just had it like this. Okay? I, we are actually gonna put a seat on it after we're done just to see how it rides, but just to clamp it. This is a pretty good score. She says she got this thing at a swap meet. Nice. The GT bars. These are actually the, the uh, 85, 86 bar. These are not the repop. The sticker, seat post to match. She's getting some uh, GT Power Series cranks. The GT sprocket. Look at that. Woo! Yen Yo, yes. GT seat. She likes this one. She actually have the, uh, the original one. But she likes this one. Steel bearing, we're gonna throw on there. Makes life very easy. The Skyways. I think, I think, I think little lady has a thing for Eddie Fiola, dude. Hey, where, 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 where's Ricardo? But yeah, uh, the Skyway Tough 2. She wants to make it look like that. The, uh, the actual GT Mallet stem. This is not a repop. Original, you can see the paint. Yeah. It's all original, okay? Now, some of you guys are like, no, no, it's not. This, this is black, guys. This is original, so that's all. It's just been sanded down, okay? It was so rusty. Shadow chain, she just brought it. Well, she bought it from us. But, uh, she's brought me a bag of chains, so I, I, I think I'm gonna use a chrome one. The uh, SR, original pedals. I would say, I think that's about it. We're, we're, we're missing grips. Brakes. And uh, and brakes exactly. So we're gonna build this, and I think the brakes are are coming. Why am I not waiting for everything to come here? Because you know what, we've been super busy, and I'm not sure if you guys noticed we've been kind of slacking on the video. Uh, and Alf has been uh, missing. Well, Alf does have another life other than this, and he's busy that. So we got to do what we got to do here to get you guys content, and so. We're not busy right now, we're a little bit slow, so I just go, you know what, let's go ahead and just go pump this thing out, and when the brakes come, the brakes come, but we're just gonna put everything together, and the brakes will come later. Okay guys, ready for this? Let's go. So, I'm gonna press on the bearings. So we're gonna do the bearings and the cranks first, okay? Calm down, ladies and gentlemen. Calm down. I get a lot of people DMing me and saying, you know what, I've done it. I've done two bearing at a time, it's good. That's, hey, good for you, man. You can tell this frame is a very, very healthy frame because the bearings, they're going on snug instead of just popping in. I mean, this frame has not been open and closed, open and closed. Some of the frame where you see I could just pop it on there. I think you guys watch me do that. That frame has just been beat up, been in, a, in and out of prison, blown out. Calm down, guys. Noob in the old rock. <laughs> <laughs> you calm down. He's got it. Look at that haircut. Welcome, dude. I feel like you can take me out for dinner now. Slow motion shots right now. <laughs> he got rid of his mullet and it grew up on mine. It grew on mine, man. You need a hand washer. Look at that. See how it's sticking out like that? Most of you guys are like, put it in, it'll start moving. So, what you have to do? Put a space in the back. Okay, guys. So, unfortunately, I don't have that little piece. But normally, a spacer like this, if I have a 24, you would put that in here so it wouldn't stick out as much. Dude, it's been like 20 minutes, dude. It's gonna take me forever. I keep these for emergencies. 
emergency situations only. And okay. This is one of those well, places. when you're grinding it, okay, you have no other. Okay, so that's one way. The original way was that. See, look, I was looking for one of these, and you put it right here. Now watch. Without it, look at that. I was grinding it. It barely did anything. See how it's sticking up? You put this over. Man, what? You knew I was doing that. I like to play games sometimes. Sprock it in. If it's so far out, you don't really have to use this piece. You could just use one of these little, little micro ones. Make sure, guys, this side is the right side. You got to use the right side. How do you know which one's right side? L and R. Ralph Lauren? Yeah, yeah. pull over Ralph Lauren. Yeah. Woo! Mandalorian down. Man, Mandalorian Damn, two down. Two rare bikes. Mandalorian. And the Susau Tennessee. Ow! Extreme! Okay, screw this guy in. This is the biggest mistake you guys do, and you, it did falls off. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put that on. You see that? See how, see, look, watch. I'll do it again. It goes on, and once it's on, I'm gonna hold this. Okay, sprocket hole right there. Move it to there. That in there. So we got that on. Okay. Pretty dang close. Let's get this guy in. You guys notice I didn't lube because there is already lube on this. Okay. And see, you don't want it to be free spinning. You want it a little bit of like that. But there, you don't feel any grinding. That's good. We're going, we're going to tighten this guy up. Some of you guys forget about this. If you guys know me and you guys are my fan, I'm not, I don't have anything to hide from you guys. Sometimes I'm in a rush and I kind of forget. I go, what, why, is this, why is this so tight? Because I got to loosen that up. Look at that suicide tendency. Yeah, this is the one we sold the other day. How many of you guys shoot South Tennessee fans? Have you ever heard anything? Any of their music? No. Oh, <laughs> no, no I don't I don't think. <laughs> yeah. Skyway, brand new. GT. Very proper. 15 tooth on a 44. Sounds good. Getting this guy on. Now guys, look at this. Okay? Notice how this side it it see how it's too big, it won't go in. Not all frame, especially old ones, just gonna slip right in. So this is what I want you to do. Everybody ask me this, look. I'm gonna put one side in. And see how that side's not? And then watch what I do. My palm on here, I'm gonna hold this in place. Over here, I'm gonna put this on here, I'm gonna pull this apart. And it goes right in. You guys see that? Real easy. Now the chain, you guys can see, it's very thick. This chain is a 1 8th. The sprocket, and the free wheel is 3.30 seconds, very thin. It will work with each other, but keep in mind, it won't work the other way around. You can't have a 1.8 sprocket, 1.8 free wheel versus a 3.30 second chain. I prefer this way because look, it's a little loose, but it'll work. If you guys notice how this thing is almost touching the cap and the body, look at the bottom, same. So what that tells me is that the cap is a little bit worn out or the bar is a little bit crushed. Uh, I look at the bar wall going, the bar does not look to be crushed. I felt it, it doesn't look to be crushed. So that tells me that this stem has been opened and closed so many times that it's been worn. But guys, when you're dealing with really old stuff like this, you, you know, you can't be picky. This is the reason why some of these stem you see it for like, you know, 150, like, whoa, cool deal. And then some of them you see, they're like three, 400 bucks, even more. It's because of little details like this, okay? But right now, I can still tighten this. So that tells me that it's, it's still got a little bit of life in it. So snug this. Don't vice it down. Snug because I know this bike's not going to be ridden. Like nobody's going to jump it. It's going to be ridden. Just cruise. So I don't want to ruin it. So we just tighten it just enough. Okay, straighten this guy out. That's pretty much all the parts I got. I'm gonna put the seat post on and the seat. And the only thing left, guys, is the brakes. I'm really excited to know if uh, if she's gonna bring the right one. Well, I'm taking that, not the right one. The one that I would prefer. I would put some uh, Odyssey one on there. Uh, I don't. Know, I hope she doesn't get black because the black one is it's just gonna fade in it. And she got polished one to go with this. 
it'll be really cool. But let's see, but as for now, I'm gonna go and finish it off with the seat and then we're gonna wrap it up, okay guys? Okay, I got a little bit of grease in here. I'm gonna put this thing in, kinda like work the grease around. Trust me guys, this is not something that just, I'm doing it for enjoyment. This is actually the easy part. We're going to the hard part now. <laughs> Putting the gut inside here. Some of you guys can relate. You, some of you guys go, oh, oh, I know, I know, I know what this guy's talking about. Comment in if, if you agree with me. This is probably the most challenging part. So I gotta take it apart. And then what I'm gonna do, size it up. This part right here is where the seat post end. It goes all the way inside. And we're gonna tuck this thing inside, okay? No, get your head out of the gutter, okay? I don't know what the tucking you guys are talking about. Okay, hold that. Ooh, see already it's a headache. And just like that, guys, just like that it's in. So, we couldn't film it because I needed Max help, but basically what Max did was he spread this thing out. But you guys gotta be careful. Some of them you spread out, it's gonna crack. This one we kinda tested it and it moved. So spread this thing out, put that put that part in. Cap in here. Ask about the racing. Woo! See guys, this, this actually this actually was was a little bit easy, but see how clean it is? Instead of it sticking out. You know, so. Not my trademark, but it's just something I, I, I prefer doing. Uh, this is a 14. Get this guy in here. You guys want to push this thing all the way in until it stops right here. I know some of you guys, once it gets here, it, it gets stuck and you guys tighten it. No, all the way in until it stops. Adjust. Okay. I like it where, see how this thing, it, it moves all the way forward? It doesn't look proportioned. I'm gonna move this thing right here so the seat post look like it's going right in the middle. Some of you guys do the same thing. You guys set it up the same or you guys have a, a particular pr uh, preference. You know what? Let's try to be quiet on the Some set. of you guys are still kind of stuck in, in old times and you guys aren't familiar with the pivotal seat. This is where the pivotal seat was revolutionary because the pivotal seat, it doesn't crush this. It doesn't, because you have to tighten it so tight. The pivotal seat just, it just snugs in and it hides it. So there you guys go. This thing kind of moves a little. I'm gonna tighten this guy up. Not too tight. And kind of there, there you guys have it. 85 GT Performer, Eddie Fiola inspired. Again, it's not often that you see a girl, a lady, be so into this but she is and i say she has pretty good taste we're gonna wrap it up and call that a video i, I wish there was brakes here but i didn't want to wait till the brakes get in and we get so busy that we're not gonna be able to put it now if she brings it tomorrow then i'll go ahead and do the other part if you guys see this thing launch and it, and and i didn't do a follow-up then it's not gonna have brakes okay guys sorry it is what it is I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment in what you guys think, what you guys would have done different. Comment in, like, do you know any other girls that are really into BMX that know their stuff like, like she does? DM uh, some girls out there that actually knows what they're doing and has good taste, okay? Share a like. Thanks, guys. So, wrapping up the video with this build, been, I think, about two weeks or something like that. Parts finally came in. So check this out, this is what we're doing. We're doing original Nippons and the Odyssey RX3, one of my favorite levers. So just a little tip for you guys, look at both of these brakes. Now, how can you tell if these brakes right here, which one is front, which one is rear? Real simple guys, look at this part right here. See how this right here is just a little barrel. So you know the cable is gonna come into here down and it's going to tighten it with this nut right here this the cable is going to go from here it's going to go up and this little narp is going to tighten it so this is the front one this is the back um, like you uh 
You want like a new? <sighs> you guys can see we're always. Honestly, this is up. Anyway, just, so. just in case you guys think we, whenever we film, there's like a whole studio. Um, so we do it during business that. hours, so <laughs> get all this background. So now, I got everything situated. So snug. So I love about these guys. Quick release. Pop it out. So you pull the wheel out. Pop this thing in. It's all good. Brake cable is real clean. I just have a little zip tie here just to hold it in place. Uh, the bike, the owner of the bike has has the the cable holders. Like I said, it's it's their bike. They do whatever they want. I'm only here to to give you mechanical advice. So here's a tough question for for you guys. The debate is, do you run the front brakes cable like this, or do you run it? through here and leave the crossbar open and do that. For me, I like to run it over here. You got a cleaner brake line. You got this in the front, this in the rear. It looks a lot cleaner. Look at the bottom. Route through, go through the cable. Another question, loop it on the outside or loop it on the inside? When you loop it on the inside, it does look cleaner, but when you route the cable and the cable, the more kinks the cable has, the rougher it's gonna be. I like to put this thing on the outside. Again, it's all preference. There is no guideline that said, you must do this, you must do that. Let's pull it on one side, put this right here, and watch, I'm gonna push it that way. There you go, I'm gonna do a little bit. Back, there you go. All that feels good, this thing needs to be a little bit angled. A little on top, a little bit on the bottom. A little angle, that's fine. Same thing here, about an inch. Now, some of you guys like to cut it all the way there. It doesn't leave room to adjust. I like to do this, give it room to adjust. Room to tune, give it two light extra kink. Give that guy a little like that. Okay. Break. There you go. Okay guys, let's step back and take a look. It's all finished. What do you guys think? So this bike, it's not gonna be a bike that you're gonna be jumping, you're gonna be riding. This bike right here, it's a cruiser, it's a weekend cruiser. I could appreciate that. Some of us have certain cars, certain shoes that we like to wear, we go, well this is it. And so, uh, she planned it out really well. I really like the I really like the pedals. I know I see a lot of people they put cage pedals on there. That's fine, but she wanted something more like similar to the catalog, something that co color match. I think she did really really well. No gyro. I you know I myself I would have done gyro, but the reason why she didn't go through with that because I, you know she's like oh you know is it gonna be more complicated? I said yes, it's more complicated for the owner because they constantly have to tune it. And she's like, she said, you know what? I wanted something simple. This is simple. This is this is the original way. Guys, comment in. See what you guys think. Is it a double thumbs up, single thumbs up? Uh, let me know, guys. But uh, thank you for your patience. We finally got this thing done. And uh, I'm excited. Give, give uh, the customer a call. Suggest anything, okay? So hopefully, uh, you guys gonna start hearing Alfredo's voice again when he take care of whatever business he take care of. Come back. Uh, I gotta go answer the phone. Later, guys. Wait, 4th of July? Well, what did I say? You said 4th of July. No. <laughs> Halloween, Halloween. 4th of July, God. I'm losing it, guys. <laughs> yep. All good. Got the thumbs up. There you have it. Ciao, Daddy Fiola. Fufo, Fulola is coming to have food. Forget. I'm done.